the good luck to have fun, so it's time to go into yet another PVZ of EG in control against Lasira. The crowd is amazing here. Everyone out here to support esports. There are our two players in control. So good at age is not even applicable to him. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. So when they, it's like Mary Kay. He doesn't he doesn't give out his age? We're in game. And in the bottom right corner, we see a player who I think has a little bit of support out there. EG's in control. And in control is going to start off with some GM. He's going to say, you are an incredible player, GL, sir. And afterwards, a translator will tell Losira what that meant. <laughs> and oh, in the top left, we have a very popular oh. player from Korea. We have Losira from I Am. And he says, I am fighting. And in control, of course, having to get some EG love in there. And I, I got to <laughs> say, I'm, I'm, ex I'm excited. I'm excited about this. I love the calm. No, EG fighting. Let me correct you on that real quick before we get started. We are on Shakura's Plateau. Uh, we are going to see in control dropping his pylon here at the natural. And we are going to be cross positions as well. Uh, a little bit different from the last PVZ we saw. Can set up uh, you know some different things just based off of the locations uh, but uh, we do have in control making his way up here very very quickly finding his opponent and uh, we'll check out what direction Losira is gonna go already looks like uh, well I don't know we're gonna we're gonna wait and see as he just hit his 14th throne so at this point in time, in control, I am so excited to see him opting to play in a straight up fashion. Getting that forge down, Naniwa, as we've seen, opted for that Nexus first. And in control, uh, uh, maybe he alt tabbed just to, you know, message his grandma. Be like, Grandma, you wouldn't believe who I'm playing right now. I'm watching the red stream. And it looks like Lucier going for that usual <laughs> extractor thing. He is he's chastising the internets, trying to make sure that it does begin to obey him. But it looks like in control going to mine a little bit of minerals. And look at that, this drone. Wow, actually, anti timing does continue to mine there. And in control preemptively blocking the hatchery, which is kind of an interesting play. I don't think Lasir is actually going to get delayed too much at all. Oh, but with the forge going down first, in control is going to drop a cannon here. Mm. And guess what? There's a, not an overlord anywhere to see that. And within the range, it's going to get a hit off of any unit that tries to go down the ramp no and a second way. photon cannon going down. So suddenly it might have wanted to go ahead and uh, <laughs> taken that hatchery, but uh, in control, preemptively putting that pylon down, letting it finish, and there you go. Do, do you mind if I eat my words for a moment really fast? Yeah. I'm so glad In Control is playing a straight-up game. <laughs> I'm so well, happy. Well, the gateway just went down. Yeah, oh, he's building a gateway. Well, that's good because that's a big component of PVZ is getting a gateway. Uh, so we are going to see him pull that pro uh -oh. back if he gets a gas at some point. Oh, get a gas, and there's a gas going down. I would suspect In Control is going for some kind of fast airplay because you do this block, it forces the player to overcompensate by making anti-ground, making more roaches, making more zerglings, and then you bust out a void ray, and your opponent's just like, what? I don't know what that word is in Korean, but that's probably what Lucier would say. Probably sounds about the same. The gateway is going down right now. A few wings are making their way out right now. Probe is, uh, well, Probe just takes one tiny hit. And uh, we're going to find out how good Losira's control is here. Is, uh, this pilot, or this uh, photon cannon placement is really good, actually, because the moment any unit hits the middle ramp, it's going to get a double dose of hits there. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, that'll kill a Ling right now. So a lot of Lings being produced right now for Losira. Wow. 12, uh, that, of course, being of six drones that could come. And I feel like Jeff wants to continue this and push this into his opponent's space, but he's being very, very apprehensive about choosing when to go forth and do that. This probe reminds me of that skinny, scrawny white villain who has two gigantic bouncers on either side. Can't even be touched. Probe's trying to run down the ramp and do any... Excuse me, Zergling trying to run down the ramp and do anything, but just can't quite cut it. And it looks like here comes a huge Zergling swell. Speed's now finished. Gonna rush right by. Target fire the cannon. No! Going for the cannon and pylon. It's gonna take that out. Should target fire the drone, but doesn't manage to get it taken out. Nice play by Lucero as a million dollars. Save it up in the back. Will likely double expand. But what is in control going to do with this extra money? Looks like he's just going to be building a cannon. Getting the sentry out right away. Looks like this was a fast defensive tech rather than any kind of fast air play. He's immediately going to go over and just poke at the front door of in control. He does have the one zealot here at his choke. And uh, was going to keep the lings out of there. 
He's got a second. lucero has got a second. Mm. Oh. Well. Well then. And very exciting news. I'd like to remind everyone that MLG actually has two satellite trucks. So that means that there is every single backup available for the internet. And considering the fact that you're still watching right now, seems to be something going wrong with the connection towards Battle.net. So it looks like in control is going to pause the game, wait for everything to sort out. Ref's going to try to determine what exactly is going on and the best way to proceed. But uh, coming back to the play that In Control is doing, this kind of yeah. reminds me of a lot of the funky cannon contains that we saw in the beta. And uh, players like Tester discovered that even if you do that great cannon contain, you have to rush to get those sentries out because you're basically motivating your opponent to get banelings. Um, I still I still feel like you can wall off effectively enough with those three buildings, the Forge, the Gateway, and the Cybernetics Core, to just expand or tech normally. I'm very curious to see what Jeff's going to do with this second Gateway. Well, I, you know, and I had, I had mentioned that there were several times that just based off of the movement of Jeff's probes that maybe he was trying to extend that out further, um, you know, and then the, the pylon and then continuing with the cannon and, and whatnot. Uh, but he was being very smart about going in there. He was often going over to make sure that the cannon was going to protect him. Mm -hmm. Might have just been counting and seeing exactly what Lucier was going to do. Do you mm -hmm. think that there would have been any benefit to trying to take it up to the high ground? Or is it just kind of like, yeah. yeah, here it is. Let it do its damage. and then? I mean, as awesome as that would be to see like a 45-minute long cannon rush by Jeff. <laughs> I mean, I don't even think Jeff's quite that cheesy. I think that, that would definitely be cool. We're excited to see Combat X participate in the next MLG. But, I mean, honestly, with that sort of positioning, like having that probe there, he's really trying to bait Zerglings to come out because... Just get the free kills. Yeah, because, I mean, Jeff's cannons did exactly what they needed to do. They denied the expansion. Yep. They're going to force some ground-focused response. And any couple of Zergling kills that he can get can only be good. Right. I mean, it's not like Jeff was actually doing anything at home. He can just build a probe every now and again. Just kind of hanging out, chilling. I made